Hey everyone, this is RevitUni.com and in this tutorial I would like to show you how to create a downspout gutter in Revit. So this is the final result. This is how it looked like in the project. We will focus on this part, of course, downspout. Let's see how it looks like on the section. We will have the possibility to have bottom and top offsets and we will be able to control also the angle of that part and offsets from the wall. Of course the size of the profile can be uh, changed, uh, the diameter can be changed, it can be both rectangle profile or uh, circular round profile. So let's start by creating a new family. I will choose the template generic model to level based. It will be uh, geometry created using sweep, but it's a good idea to create reference line that will help us choose the path of the sweep. So I will go actually to the left and draw a reference line. It will have a shape something like that. Now it would be a good idea to control it with a dimensions and align tool. So the center would be here, so I will align it immediately. And now I want to create a bottom offset, so I will draw a reference plane at the top and at the bottom. Here it would be a good idea to have a, a reference plane for the angled part and let's start to attach the lines to it. When I move it here it will not work as I expected so uh, let's try to use align tool because we can also align not only entire lines but also the endpoints which is very useful. Here here. If it's not working, we need to first disconnect those lines. Okay. Same story here. Okay. And now let's connect. Of course, we need additional reference plane here and this would be attached to this reference plane actually and to this one okay and now let's connect this one and start placing dimension okay of course I connect also this part and create a dimension out of this part Mm, okay. Here will be a distance from the wall, top offset, bottom offset, and now angles. So again, dimension, angular, here, and here. Click on the dimension. It would be almost all of them would be an instance parameter, so let's make it top offset, bottom offset, angle top, angle bottom. This part actually could be a type parameter. This one also should be instance. You can quickly switch from instance to type in here. So okay, this also can be a type parameter. And now we need to create a sweep geometry. For that I would need a profile family. I created such family with parameterized diameter, I just need to load it. 
I load it into the family, go to 3D view, maybe uncheck visibility of annotations for a second. Wait, maybe not uh, all annotation, just dimensions. Okay, create sweep peak path. I'm selecting all the reference line that I created and now assign a profile and click accept. Geometry is created. Now let's try to test it. I will go to the left again and try to test it slowly. So end extension, let's make it 200 maybe. Angle at the bottom, let's make it 15. Bottom offset, let's make it 150. Top offset also 150. Uh, what's next? Angle top, let's make it 30. There is some uh, there is some error appearing popping up here. So let's try to analyze why is it happening. Okay, something is wrong here. Weird. I will remove this constraint and try to reattach it. Okay, I know I forgot about one of the parameters, which is distance from wall. So let's also constrain this part. Let's make it an instance. Okay, and let's now try to test it. Still, I'm getting the same error, so I will try to control actually this distance by creating another parameter and let's call it top straight top straight part length. I will make it an instance and I will try to fix that. Okay, first attaching to this part. And now let's attach to this part. Okay. And let's test it now. Angle top, uh, let's make it 30. Okay, now it works. And it just creates an offset here. But we don't have distance from the wall still. Let's create this parameter or actually reuse that we just the one that we just created. Still something is not working and I think I over constrained it a little bit. So I will unlock this reference plane. Try to straighten this part and attach it here. Now let's create a distance from wall. Okay. And now it should be working well okay so uh, the thing I need to parameterize also is the diameter so I will go to the family profiles gutter profile double click here and connect the parameters creating a new ones diameter exterior okay and pipe Okay, both of those can be type parameters. I can also parameterize the material of it. Okay. And maybe let's try to conduct testing directly in the project. Okay. I will be at the floor plan level, create a component and for some reason this gutter is have some offset from the center so I need to verify that as well you see that the reference lines that I drew ended up in some weird offset from the center I thought when I go to left it will be automatically uh, activated as my reference plane but it's not but it didn't happen so I can quickly fix that I will edit work plane and switch it to center left. 
load it back into the project, overwrite, and now when I create a component, you see, it's perfectly in the center. It's a good idea to have a section here, and now you see I have all those shape handles that I can use to control the geometry of my gutter. Here works well, here as well. Let's try to modify, for example, to 10 uh, extension. Let's make it 150. It worked 45. Okay. This can be, all those parameters can be adjusted using shape handles. The only problems I'm having here with the top offset, let's verify what's the issue. Okay, you see I'm attached to the upper uh, reference level and it would be a good idea to actually draw a reference plane that is attached to it instead of attaching to the level itself. So I will uncheck here and make sure I'm dimensioning to the reference plane and make it a top offset. Okay, I have two top offsets for some reason, so let's make it 150. Okay, now let's test it back in the project. Okay, now it works much better. This is it. So the most important part in this tutorial was to parameterize the shape of it. Uh, if it's too complicated for you and you just want to use the family, you may find it on my Revit University site under Revit Shop. I will try to post more uh, families here soon that are useful. It's just 99 cents, so it's very symbolic, but if you don't, uh, don't have those money, uh, just let me know. I will send it to you directly. Just leave an email under the comment.